Now, in the rest of the 90%, one thing which is very important for everybody in whatever positions they apply, they need to understand this, that you will get somewhere between seven seconds to one and a half to two minutes to impress the people on the other side of the table. That is what research and statistics says. So seven seconds is nothing to impress somebody. So when the research papers are presented, what they say is that the moment you enter from the door till the time you take your chair, the opinions have already been made, whether they want to have you or they don't want to have you. So those initial one or two minutes are very, very important. Now, how can we make a personality statement in those two minutes? That means we need to dress well, we need to look well, we need to carry ourselves very well, we need to smell good, right? We need to be confident, there needs to be an eye contact, and the posture, the body language, it should, it should ooze out with confidence. The basic thing that gives us confidence is proper attire. When we are very nicely dressed and when we are dressed for the occasion, we make an extra effort to get dressed. That gives us a confidence. Very small thing. It's a Sunday and I'm wearing a sari. Sari is not a traditional dress in North India. It means, what am I projecting? I'm projecting that this one hour session is important for me. People who have taken out time, I should feel gratitude and should be thankful to them so that they have taken out time to interact with me. When I am not ready for the occasion, when I do not project that I am ready for the occasion, I disappoint the people. And supposing it's a long journey from getting uh, information about a principal's post, preparing my resume for that, and actually being sitting in that chair. It takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to reach that chair. And if to reach that office or to reach that chair, I am not projecting an image that I'm happy to be here. I am enthusiastic. I am keen to be here. I am actually defeating my own purpose. So what here, what we tell our um, attendees or, or, or our students is that it is very, very important that not just the verbal, what words, you, the words that we use again are going to be maybe somewhere between 7 to 10 percent of the weightage. 90%, 93%, it is the non-verbal communication that we are going to do. And non-verbal communication will include everything. Beginning from the presentation of your resume. Now, for a professional resume, there are different set of rules for the corporates. There are slightly different set of rules for the uh, academic head or the principal positions that we generally are seeking for. Out here, the principal is a complete package, both of the content that he has in his mind, of the personality, the articulation of the voice, the know-how, the background, and we can work on it. Supposing my resume or my personality does not project that I am fit for the role. We need to think twice before applying. Now, what is the formula for applying? The formula for applying is that when we come across a job description, if we match 80% of the job description, then we should apply. Let me give you an example. Supposing there's a principal's job uh, advertised and very clearly they say we want a female candidate less than 45 years of age. 
right now there's a male who is 50 should he apply my question to all of you <laughs> 